All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are giving you a room tour here at the Ventura Hotel at Universal Resort in Orlando. And we are in room 742, it's the end of the hallway. So let's uh, get on in here and uh, show you around. I left the key card inside, Therese is here, so Therese is greeting me as she opens the door. Uh, we do have a king bedroom, it's just a standard room here. Uh, and when you enter, the first thing that kind of hits you is the height of the ceilings and the size of the window. We'll get to that in just a second. But uh, as we get started here, we're just gonna go immediately to the left. And we're gonna open this up right here and you have your closet. You have your safe up top right there. You have your iron, you have your iron board, kind of a smaller iron board down there below. You have your extra blankets and you have your luggage stand right there. It's a pretty basic closet. Uh, we're gonna get that shut. One of the things, when you shut it, you turn around right away and you see you have a full length mirror right there. Dress hide in the corner. But uh, so anyway, we're going, once you get past it, you have your couch right here. How's the couch, Dress? Comfortable? All right, she sat down on it just a second ago. So anyway, if you turn back around here, uh, I believe it is a sleeper couch. I thought Dress would be my person, but as you can see, I'm not gonna open it out, but it is a hide of bed, so kids or you were sleeping more than two people uh, you can pull that out and, and sleep four in here uh, pretty comfortably uh, as we move to the right we're gonna go right here into the bathroom area so anyway there's no door right here so that's a little bit different uh, going into the uh, into the sink area um, you know it's not bad but it is open there is no way to, to close it on a curtain or anything as you can see it's kind of a modern touch here at the hotel you have a couple of spaces down here with an extra cup uh, your tissue paper, you also have, I believe that's a hair dryer down there, your tissue right here, and then you have, to the right right here, you have your little cabinet space with uh, your wash rags in, in there. Uh, as we move on to the left, this is where you'll get into the, the restroom area, and this is a pocket door, Let me pull that back, so it does slide shut on its own. We're going to open that back up here. Pretty standard. Uh, you got four towels in here. Your toilet right there, nice and clean. You do have your bottles of ecological soap, shampoo, and conditioner. It is a stand-up shower, so you're not gonna have to be able to take a bath. That's what you want to do. Uh, you also have your string right here to to hang anything that may be wet, uh, and you also have a, a small little hanger right here. Now to move back out into the main living area. So we got a king size bed right here. As we move on to the right, you're gonna see you have a desk right, right away. You have a chair that you can pull out and use. Uh, kind of this desk space to work if you need to. You have your trash can down there. You have a, looks like a Bluetooth speaker right here. Um, you have two plug-ins as well as traditional uh, old style USB. And then you also have this little lamp right here that you can uh, kind of functions on a dimmer. So you just slide it up and down and change the, uh, the intensity of that. Um, you also have a, a regular thermostat right here. We'll show you guys something cool about that in a second. You have your coffee maker. Make single cups of Cuisine Art coffee. Um, slide that back up against the wall. Well, it doesn't go all the way against the wall. It's kind of odd. Um, you do have a cooler down here that'll hold a few drinks. Um, and then you have actually five drawers. Here it pulls out. I'm not gonna pull out all of them, but you see you have three here, two here, and I guess if you wanted to slide your luggage into there, now it's not gonna put a big piece of luggage, but you could put it under there. Um, one of the cool things about this room is that it operates on an iPad, essentially. So if we come over here, we open it up, and actually what we can do is you can remove it so that you can lay in bed or sit on the couch or whatever and change what you need to change. Just to show you, you can operate, it's really cool. You can operate uh, everything from about the resort to room controls, so you can control your lights, desk lamp, um, TV and media. If you go to television, pulls up all the channels for you. If we go back here, uh, you can go to things like YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video. Hulu, all right there. Gives you all your dining options. Uh, if you need to contact Bell Services or request anything, you can do that. Um, it also has do also has uh, tools for the internet, 
You can find out the weather if you want. Very easy. You can also chat with them. And uh, this is a really awesome little tool here. Like I said, um, you can find out hours to the Universal or anything else that you want to do here. So, all right, so the last thing we'll show you here is the view out the window. Now, this thing it has 14 or 15 floors. We haven't been up to the top of it yet. I can't remember exactly. And we're only on the seventh floor, but I'm gonna open these up for you. All right, so as we get these opened up, now you can see out that I've got the lights turned off so you don't see the reflection so bad. Um, we're overlooking the parking lot here. But you can see all the iDrive stuff off in the distance there. Um, so yeah, you just basically kind of see the city lights and such. And uh, it's a nice view. I complain about it all. Ooh, if you look down, right there, you can actually see the pool area. There's a fire going on out there right now. So yeah, they have a little fire pit with some places to sit. Um, it's like a very relaxing place or to hang out, especially on a cool night like tonight. Alright, so that's about it for the room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, as always, if you like the content and you get something out of the video, we would greatly appreciate it if you consider liking. And if you like some of the other content and things that we do, uh, we would appreciate it if you also consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us out a lot. It helps our small channel to grow. So uh, anyway, until the next one, we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.